Edo people are not Biafra. This is a direct message to iPod and Unan de Kano. We want you to know that we understand your secret agenda. We understand your secret mission. And we are watching because now we are aware. In case for people who don't know, what somebody like Unan de Kano is doing with his own little understanding is this. This is a man who gets to understand the history of Africa, the little one he have access to. This is a man who gets to understand the history of his people and he now found out something. What did Unan de Kano found out? He found out that the souls majority, uh, uh, 70% of the Igbos, their soul is traumatized. They have a soul trauma because of the Biafra war that took place between Nigeria and the Biafrans. He saw this. He himself don't even carry that trauma. If not, he will not be doing it the way he is doing it now. But he saw the traumas of some of Igbos, not all some. And what he is doing now is he wants to profit from this soul trauma, not to heal them from the trauma, but to use this trauma to manipulate their emotions, to manipulate how they feel and behave. Because he know already that their soul is traumatized. And he's not doing this by keeping them grounded with their traditions and religion. He's doing this with a philosophy he believe that is the only way to do it. I'm not here to judge your philosophy, but what I'm here to share with you and to show you Unan the Canon, this is especially for you, is we are do people. We understand your traumas. We were the one who fought war with the British. We were the one who have an empire bigger from Edo land to present the Benin Republic. We are the one who carry ancient traumas. So we understand your own trauma, which is a new trauma. But what we will never accept is when you want to use your trauma now and your pains and frustration and use it to manipulate our people who have ancient traumas. This we will never accept because we are still working within us to heal us. So it's either you join our healing process or you stay far from us. Because the Igbos, the few Igbos you are using now, these are the people who just know something is not right and they are angry because of that same traumas. Now you have successfully created what you call iPod. I have no problem with whatever movement or whatever thing you create. But this is where you will start having problems with people like us. Now, instead of you to focus on uniting your five states, your five states alone is enough for you to create your country. Your five states alone is bigger than Norway, bigger than Sweden, bigger than Finland, bigger than Luxembourg, bigger than Switzerland. Make use of this. Stop not trying to brainwash some uneducated Edo people for them to think and start believing they are Bria France. I personally don't like separating the black men because I know we are our family. But when I see a black man like you, then I see you as threats to our own existence. Because what you are what you and your people are doing now is you are sponsoring a group of people to be insulting our beloved Oba, to be brainwashing our people to be making them thinking that they are now a part of Biafra 
And I want you to know that we know why you are doing this. You know you have no logistic to be able to fight any war with Nigeria. You know this, I know this. But your secret agenda is this. You want to prepare the mind of these people, this my beloved Edo people. Let's just leave your own, uh, some confused Igbo aside, some, not all. My beloved Edo people, you want to confuse them and make them start thinking and preparing their mind because why? Very soon Nigeria will catch fire. We are all seeing it already. Those who have eyes, we know what is coming. But you are preparing the mind of some of our people so that when it comes to the point of referendum, these people will say we are Biafra. Why? Because you have launched now a campaign since more than six to seven years trying to go through our villages, our community, trying to brainwash people and let them know that you are Igbo, you are Biafra, you are one of us. The same you are not even able to unite everybody in Onisha. The same you cannot even unite everybody in Imo State. In some, in some street in Imo, say, Imo State, you cannot even walk. You cannot even go there and walk on your bare foot. So if you are not able to even unite your own people, why the Edo's? What are the Bini people done to you all that you are so jealous and you so much want to destroy the only pride that is left for Africa? In case you don't know, Benin Kingdom is the second oldest kingdom on earth. If you are wise, Una the Kanu, you should protect this. Because without this, you are not even relevant. Without this, nobody will even give you any respect. You think Israel will come and save you? Why did Ojuku decline the help of the Israelites? If you are wise, you should do the same. Because these people don't care about you. You claim now that you are a Jew. Go and look at the lives of the Ethiopian Jews in Tel Aviv and come back and talk to me if you are really a Jew or a Gentile. I'm not here, I'm not interested in your religion, but my warning and message to you is stay away from Edo land, stay away from our people, we are not Biafrans. We have no ancestral relationship with Biafra. Biafra is even a slave name, in case you don't know. This is a slave name. I even prefer you say Indingbo. Then we will understand. Then you will be practiced all the Nana. Then we will understand. Then people like me will even take you serious. You can't just come and be talking, uh, blah, 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 calling Nigeria a zoo, blah, 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 insulting yourself. Nigeria... Is Nigeria already focus on the healing of the soul traumas which your people are into? If you love them and you claim you are their Messiah, free their mind first before you manipulate their emotion. This is really the message I just want to send to you so quick. And this message go to all those some uneducated Edo people who are now also believing you are Biafra. Or tell me, we be Afra. Umana history, Sikema, ma'am, teach you a free, gratis. You will not pay one dime for it. Don't let anybody miseducate you because at the end, in area where you are pepper soup. So know yourself and stand where you are. I wish you all a nice day. Bye bye.